Welcome back to Turtle Queen at the Movies with Steve Hayes. Let's go see Steve. Oh, Johnny! Turtle Queen at the Movies. <laughs> Johnny, I wanted to recommend a gothic suspense movie, so I chose from 1946, Robert Siad Max, The Spiral Staircase, starring Dorothy McGuire, George Brent, and Ethel Barrymore. Now, this movie is really something else. It's in the grand manner of like Rebecca and those kind of movies. It has a huge old house at the turn of the century up in New England. And Dorothy McGuire plays this young girl who's working as a maid in this house. And she's a mute. And she, at the beginning of the movie, she's in town and she's in a hotel watching a movie downstairs. And upstairs, a lame girl is strangled. And it's the third murder in this town that has taken place of women with physical handicaps. So, of course, after that, poor Dorothy McGuire has to walk home through the woods. And, you know, it's a storm is coming up. And, you know, everything's shaking. And the killer follows her. You never get a, a close look at the killer. The music will start up with that theremin sort of sound. And they only show his eye, and he'll, you see him looking at her, looking at her, and the camera will go up into his eye. And turn around, and when he looks at her, he sees no mouth. Oh, gosh. So she goes to the house. She just barely misses getting strangled by him on the way home. When she gets to the house, she's in charge of taking care of the dowager of the house, which is played by Ethel Barrymore. Now, the cook of the house is Elsa Lanchester, who's an alcoholic. And she keeps saying things like, Well, we heard about the murder. I thought it might be you. Well, you better go upstairs. Mrs. Warren's been waiting for you. And I'd do well if I had a little nip. <laughs> and when she goes upstairs, Ethel Barrymore wakes out of a out of a sound sleep and says to her, "Helen, did you know there was a girl murdered here a long time ago?" You're not safe here, you know. You should hide under the bed. This has happened before. Years ago, I saw a girl, a crippled girl, get thrown down the well. Hide, my dear. You understand. You must hide under the bed. Meanwhile, the storm is raging and windows keep getting opened and shut for no reason. Now, if only I knew who opened it. You're not that clever. I hope that, that the rain was the only thing that we let in and the music keeps going. And meanwhile, the killer is in the house. <laughs> Siedmeck was this German director, and he brought along that whole German sensitivity like Fritz Lang did with M. So whenever things are shot, you never see, for example, the first murder when the girl was strangled, she's putting on her dress over her head, and all of a sudden, ah, ah, and her hands go like this, but you never see her. You just hear her getting strangled and her hands clasping, and then you see that eye. Or she'll open up a closet and she'll walk away from it. The clothes inside the closet and the camera goes in and the eye is looking there. This is one of those movies that stays with you. I saw this movie when I was a kid and I couldn't go upstairs in the dark for 10 years. Well, until I left home at 40. So I highly recommend Dorothy McGuire, George Brent, and Ethel Barrymore in an Oscar-nominated performance in Robert C. N. Max Terror. The Spiral. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's go see Steve. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat.